Hey, welcome back, Ashley here, allthingsenergy.com. What you're looking at is uh, preparation for my perio presentation tomorrow, uh, talking about a tunnel technique for connected tissue graft, and I'm going to put that up uh, hopefully soon. And also this little one line right here, copying uh, 403 gigabytes, is what I experienced this morning when my um, external hard drive failed. So, what happened? Well, I had a well, I have two now. A Western Digital uh, MyBook Essential, uh, two terabyte hard drive, and the damn thing failed first thing in the morning. I plugged it in, and that houses all of my clinical videos. So what I did was like, hmm, what could be the problem? There's not much in here, just a regular hard drive. So I took it apart, voided my warranty immediately, and there's what it looks like inside. Let me get rid of that. And uh, this morning, that little light wasn't flashing like that. Well, it's not flashing right now. It will. It's right now. I'm copying. So, little, just so you know, this is the hard drive, two terabytes. This is a uh, external hard drive controller. And this little friend here is not generic. So it's a Western Digital. And what it does is, as it writes information onto this hard drive, it cor um, encrypts it into some sort of Western Digital encryption thing. So also, as I found out from the company. If you miss the password five times, apparently it erases your entire hard drive. Like, oh, okay, great. So, took my hard drive apart and figured out that, or f pretty much figured out that uh, this thing was fried. Now, it looks like it's fried, but then I bought another one and it's not. That's just the way it looks. Like, oh, okay. So, I took, threw this in the garbage, went down, took this part, the hard drive, down to a local computer shop. Great guys. They tried to read it, and it wouldn't work. They couldn't read it. There's stuff on there, but they couldn't read it. And the reason why is because this little friend encrypts it. Encrypts all the information as it puts it on there. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I phone, came home really quick. Got my old change too. Uh, real quick um, call to a recovery company and they said well maybe 800 to 1800 dollars I'm like oh, okay it's gonna be a better workaround than that somebody's making money off of that it's ridiculous so from Western Digital and asked them you know after they gave me the spiel about voiding the warranty and opening the case I asked them if I went and bought another one of these and if this number was the same on this controller would it work and he gave me the answer I needed to hear I can't tell you yes money so I ran down to Best Buy Picked up ter two terabyte hard hard drive number two. Looked at the numbers on the card. They were the same. Installed it in the car, drove to work, crossed my fingers, and it worked. I couldn't believe it. I was so relieved. So, what's my workaround? I took the new hard drive. So this is my old hard drive. I took the new one, bought an enclosure reformatted it so it's generic have a generic uh, controller I'm copying videos onto the generic use this as my super backup and then I'm going to erase this and go with generic and get rid of this western digital junk so if it does fail I can just hook up a generic um, controller and not have any issues so that was quite the workaround. I was a little stressed uh, wasn't very nice to my family at lunch I apologize to my wife dearly I love her and my boys, I love you too. So, back on track. Hope that helps. <laughs> I'm not a computer guy, I'm a Mac guy. I guess I'm a computer guy too then. Mac's computers, aren't they? Anyways, cheers.